Hello there. So, I hope you're doing well. So, I woke up to this news uh, that uh, the Namibian presidency, basically the office of the presidency in Namibia, uh, released this statement saying that Namibia rejects German's support of the genocidal intent of the racist Israeli state against the innocent civilians in Gaza. And they're saying on Namibian soil, Germany committed the first genocide of the 20th century between 1904 to 1908, in which tens of thousands of innocent Namibians died in the most inhumane and brutal conditions. And I remember yesterday I made such a video where I actually talked about the genocide that was committed of, on this community called the Herero and the Namaka people. Between 100,000 and 120,000 people from 100,000 from the Herero and 20,000 from the Namaka people were massacred by German soldiers in 1904, between 1904 and 1908. And basically they were hanging them. The women, the women would be killed in the most brutal ways. I don't want to describe that. You can go and dig up what happened in 1904. But in summary, they were using, you know, sharpened sticks, you know, the sticks to basically uh, insert them inside the, the, the women. Some of these women were pregnant and they would stab babies inside the wombs. Those things happened. The men would be hanged on trees. You would find thousands of men all over the place hanging from the tree as a, as a warning to other communities. So they almost decimated the whole communities that were there in Namibia in 1904. And about 20, 30 years later, they went on to commit the same atrocities in Germany. You know what they did in Germany and Poland and Ukraine. They were looking for Nazis. Uh, they, sorry, they were looking for actually... They were the Nazis, so they were looking for the Jews and other people. Now, Germany decided the reason why Namibia is not happy is because this, this case at the International Court of Justice that was basically presented by South Africa on behalf of the people, the innocent civilians of Palestine or Gaza, because they're being bombed in their homes and they're being killed. At the moment, more than 24,000 of them have been killed by bombs dropped on their homes by Israel, which is basically a genocide. And there were references from Israeli soldiers every time they were bombing this building. They were referencing to a terminology called Amalek. And Amalek is uh, there in the Jewish Torah book, the book of Jews. And it also it happens to be in the Bible. Amalek, if you ever read the Bible, is that part where Moses lifts his hands up to ensure that the sun doesn't basically go down. It stays in one position so that the Israelis can continue massacring the people of Amalek because God had given them, the God of Israel, had given them only that day to smite everyone. In other words, to butcher every person in the land of Amalek. And the reason they were doing this, they say that when they came from Egypt, they passed through this valley where the Amalekite men were there grazing, and some of the Amalekite men were throwing stones and shouting at them. So in revenge, they came back to kill everyone, including women who are not part of those who are grazing. So it's the same thing they are doing in Namibia, uh, in Gaza. And South Africa took this case to the International Court of Justice, but Germany says that they want to be that party to enjoy themselves enjoying you know you can enjoy yourself to a case so they want to be to enjoy themselves to the case uh, and basically help israel so they're saying israel is not committing genocide basically germany is trying to tell the world that guys guys listen i know what genocide is i know how to commit a genocide what israel is doing is not genocide so Allow me to come to that court and demonstrate to you how we did the genocide. That's what Germany is basically saying. Because there's no other country that has committed massive genocide in the 20th century, you know, in the recent time, like Germany has, of course, with the United States. So they are here telling us that the atrocities committed by Israel 
are not, they do not meet the merit of being classified as a genocide. So they've been requesting the court to allow Germany to come there and demonstrate. And that has made Namibia angry because Namibia is the only African country that has actually backed South Africa for this uh, case. Other countries have refused, they are scared. Namibia, because they have suffered genocide themselves, they understand the pain, so they, 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 they backed South Africa. They feel the pain that the Palestinians are going through because they, are the, they, are, they were victims themselves. So uh, the reason also you need to understand is that Namibia has always, in the recent times, vowed to change the status quo of the white farm. And the, the reason why I'm saying this is because more than 70, look here, more than 70% of Arabo, you know, Arabo is the green land in Namibia because most of it is desert. Most, more than 70% of that land is owned by Germany uh, settlers, the ones who came in 1904. And that is the land that initially, historically, belonged to the massacred people of the Herero and the Namaka people. So it's also saddening that more than 60 years after independence, no one in South Africa, uh, in Namibia, has dared to kick out these murderers to undo the, the mistake that they did back in 1904. To me, that is a, a waste of time. The government in Namibia should go ahead and kick them out and, and tell them to go back to where they came from because how they, ag- they acquired those lands was through violence and genocide. So the only way, you don't even have to negotiate with them. Just tell them, give them a, a deadline and tell them to leave. I think that's what they should do. Because why should they continue occupying those farmlands and those plantations that they took from the Herero people after killing hundreds of them? 